everybody. Welcome to another episode of Tapping Along with Annette. I'm Dr. Annette Valancourt, the Elite Soulmate Coach and author of How to Manifest Your Soulmate with EFT, Relationship as a Spiritual Path. There are many things that stand in our way of manifesting a soulmate, uh, barriers to love as I call them, and EFT is just the perfect tool to help remove those barriers. So today we're going to tap on one of those barriers to manifest in your soulmate, and that is attachment to our exes. Yes, we think we may be over them, it's long gone, it's old history, it's in the past, that sort of thing, but there may be some lingering barriers, some lingering hope or some things that you're telling yourself, uh, or they may still be in your life in some tangential or maybe even not so tangential way. So today we're going to tap on, uh, we're going to create a statement that says, even though I'm still in contact with my ex or I still have hopes that my ex will come back to me. I deeply love and accept myself. And that may be a hard one for a lot of us because holding on to hope is a very strong motivation. So say to yourself, and I oh, and I invite you to tap along with me. That's why we call it tapping along with the net. Say to yourself, I'm still attached to my ex or have hopes that he or she will come back to me. And get an intensity level right in the moment for how true that is for you and how strong you feel that. Zero meaning no intensity whatsoever and ten being the most that you can imagine. So take note of that. See how you feel, how it feels in your body, that sort of thing. And then we're going to begin tapping. And as always, I'm going to teach and tap at the same time. So we're going to start out the karate chop point, which is the fleshy part of the outside of either hand. And we're tapping lightly with two fingers. And repeat after me, or, or say with me, even though I'm still attached to my ex, and I have hopes of them coming back to me, I deeply love and accept myself. And we're going to do this three times and say it like you mean it. Even though I'm still attached to my ex, and I have hopes of them coming back to me, I deeply love and accept myself. One more time. Even though I'm still attached to my ex, and I have hopes of them coming back to me, or I'm still angry and hurt by them, I deeply love and accept myself. Being still angry or hurt by your ex is a way of being emotionally attached. It's using up a lot of your emotional energy, which isn't free to attract your soulmate. Okay, now we're going to take our fingers, bunch them together, and tap on the top of the head. I'm still attached to my ex in one way or another. I'm tapping about seven times on each one of these points. <clears throat> Excuse me inside the eyebrow. I'm still attached to my ex in one way or the other. Outside the eyebrow. When I think of my ex, I still have feelings, positive or negative. Under the eye. When I think of my ex, I still have feelings, positive or negative, which tells me I'm still attached. Under the nose. When I think of my ex, I still have feelings, positive or negative. And I wish they'd come to their senses. Chin point. When I think of my ex, I still have feelings and I wish they'd change their mind. A lot of times secretly we have those wishes, so we might as well own up to them. Collarbone point. I just make a fist and tap right. There's that little U-shaped bone in the center of your neck. Make a fist and tap right over that. And that way you're tapping on both sides of the collarbone point. You won't have a tendency to kind of float down the collarbone point. I'm still attached to my ex. Under the arm. I'm still attached to my ex. Okay, now we're going to mix it up a little bit as we continue to tap about seven times on each point. I wish they'd come to their senses. I remember them telling me no one's ever going to love me like they did. Outside the eyebrow. Even though I was the one that broke up the relationship, I still miss them. That may be true for some of you. Under the eye. Even though I was the one that broke up the relationship, I still miss them, or I have regrets. These regrets, this anger that I have about my ex, this hurt I have about my ex, under the arm, this longing that I have for my ex. If you feel anything but indifference or you know, you don't even think about, then you still have some emotional attachment to your ex. This emotional attachment I have to my ex. 
and if you saw it just like I did, that means some, some of the block energy is opening up. This emotional attachment that I have to my ex. Outside the eyebrow. This feeling that I have for my ex. Under the eye. I hate it that I still have feelings for my ex. Under the nose. I hate it that I still have feelings for my ex. Ten point. What if I always have feelings for my ex? What if I always have feelings for my ex? They say time heals all. Top of the head. But it's been a long time. And I still think about him or her. I still think about him or her. Under the eye. What's the matter with me? I'm going to tap this away. These intense feelings that I have for my ex. This intense hurt and anger. This intense love and longing, thinking I'll never find anyone like him or her again. Boy, I really am attached. Boy, I really am attached. So the eyebrow, I got some tapping to do here. Got a whole bunch of tapping to do here. Got a whole bunch of tapping to do here. To clear any and all feelings I have for my ex. I choose to release them. The arm. I choose to release them. Notice I changed hands. It really doesn't matter which, which hand you use to tap. Some people will say it does, but I haven't found it to be necessary. I choose to release these feelings. I release my ex with love and gratitude. I release my ex with love and gratitude. Under the eye. No, I don't. Nose point. Ten point. Or nose. <laughs> no, I don't. Yes, I do. I release my ex with love and gratitude for all that I've learned, and I'm a stronger person for it. I release my ex with love and gratitude for all I learned. I'm a stronger person for it. Okay. Stop and check in with yourself and think about your original intensity number and say the statement again. Um, even though I still have feelings for my ex, I wish they changed their mind. See if it's still at that original intensity. If it's dropped, yay, and congratulations, but don't accept it. If, it. if it's anything less than a zero, keep tapping. Go back to the cry chop point. Say, even though I still have some feelings for my ex and I still wish they changed their mind or I changed my mind, whatever your original statement was. Um, if, your, if your intensity has gone up, that means there's other aspects to uh, tap about. There may be memories specific, you know, maybe you had contact with them recently. Maybe you had sex with them recently. That sort of thing. So there's still a lot of clearing to do, but I hope this is a good start on showing you how to tap a little bit on releasing with love all of your exes. So I wish you much love and abundance. And if you want to see the rest of my videos, please subscribe to my video video channel or come to my website at the elite, elite coaching.com and uh, check into my blogs and sign up for my free email newsletter. And, uh, I wish you much love and abundance. Thank you.